I am very established in my profession in Dubai. I have a very good and stable job in Singapore. I earn a very big salary in Qatar. I am a doctor in India. My family owns a business in the Philippines. Given these circumstances, do you think it is still worth moving to Canada? This is the question that we are about to answer on the fourth video of Pinoy Professionals to Canada. Welcome to this YouTube channel. Again, we are Pinoy Professionals to Canada and we are here to support you guys in your journey to Canada by sharing our own personal experiences and learnings. If you still haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so and hit the bell button so you'll get notification on our future uploads. Before we start, we just want to let you know that everything that you will learn from this channel is based on personal experiences of members, so please don't consider this as a professional legal advice. It is not easy to move in a new country. You will have to give up most of the things you were accustomed to. You will need to leave your family, your friends, and the places you basically grew up with. You will have to start all over again. You will have to adjust to new culture, new lifestyle, new way of life. These are just some of the valid concerns for everyone wanting to move to Canada. Depending on your different reasons for the possible move, let's understand why would someone consider moving to Canada anyways. Here's an insight from someone who has been an established professional who chooses to give up his career to chase that Canadian dream, speaking from my heart to your heart. The immediate answer on why you might consider moving to Canada depends on your personal goals. Are you moving to Canada for shorter or longer term? Few factors vary depending on the length of stay you intended to. For the purpose of this video, will consider that all of you watching now wanted to fully migrate in Canada. Since everything depends on your personal circumstances, I would ask you to get a pen and paper and list down these things and answer it wholeheartedly. The first factor you would need to consider is your available resources. This is very important. Canadian immigration process could be very difficult expensive and time-consuming. It entails a lot of paperwork, from getting IELTS, to gathering all your work experiences, and to getting your Canadian education equivalency. It would also need a lot of resources. For express entry alone, you have to show proof of funds of almost 13,000 Canadian dollars for a single immigrant. It is not cheap at all. Immigration process could also take time, so you would be needing tons of patience and dedication. Second factor you might want to consider is employment or possible job opportunities. I am creating this video in the midst of COVID-19 pandemic, and just like any other countries, Canadian job market was hammered by it. You would see lesser than normal job openings. However, during the pre-COVID-19 time, this is not the case and you would see a lot of hiring and job opportunities. The average national unemployment rate in Canada hovered between 5 and 6%, so you would have to make sure you are competitive enough to survive Canada. I hope you are also using this time to improve your craft and learn some new skills. Third factor is earning and saving money. If you are moving to Canada to earn and save more money, Canada may not be the best recommended places to do so. In Canada, as your salary gets higher, so is your taxes. Plus, with the cost of living in Canada, you probably will have only few hundreds or less to save unless you do two or three jobs. If you are looking to earn a lot of money, 
you may still want to stay in your current job because as a new immigrant, you would hear a lot about Canadian experience, which is very important to majority of employers. Quality of life is the fourth factor you would consider. Paid by your taxes, your kids will have free education until high school and all of your family members will have access to health care. Canada is also one of the safest country in the world with lesser crime matched with clean air and water. The public transportation, the infrastructure, it is all there to assure that you will have a sustainable life in Canada as long as you also do your part. You will also have enough family time as Canada values work-life balance. The fifth factor that you would consider is the privilege of acquiring Canadian citizenship. Once you became a permanent resident, staying and contributing to Canadian economy for about three years, you will be eligible for acquiring the Canadian passport. Canadian passport often ranks as one of the most powerful in the world, and this could give you a definite advantage and could open lots of opportunities to you and your family. You might need to consider the harsh climate in Canada as a sixth factor. I am making these videos from Vancouver, British Columbia, which is situated on the west coast of Canada. In Vancouver, we only experience 10 days of snow per year on the average, but significantly gets a lot of rain due to its proximity to Pacific Ocean. For some other provinces, winter are just hard to bear for some and could last for months. It is very important that you check all the provinces and territories before you decide to move. We can make a separate video in the future to discuss the provinces of Canada. Economic strength and stability could be your seventh factor. Canada has one of the strongest economies in the world. During this pandemic alone, Canada literally allotted a lot of resources to its residents to support them on their needs, especially when they lose their job or they have to stop working to cater family members who are sick. Canada has been very proactive in helping its residents and we couldn't thank the government enough. Multicultural and diverse community could be something you might consider as the eighth factor. As we mentioned earlier, moving to a new country and starting all over again could be very challenging, but when you see a community that speaks the same language, adjustment could be a little easier. The ninth factor you may want to consider is Canada's proximity to the United States. Okay, I know most of us had at one point dreamed of working in the United States. This dream that you kept in the back of your mind could also become possible once you get that Canadian passport. Canadians can work in the United States on a TN visa and you will have access to more employment opportunities should you wish to apply. No religion, gender, and political persecution could be the 10th factor you'll consider. In Canada, you are free to express what you believed in as long as you keep that respect with other communities. Canadians has always been associated to being the kindest nation and I couldn't speak enough truth of that. Of course, just like any other countries, there are a few exceptions, but in general, as a collectively whole, we at Pinoy Professionals to Canada experience very warm welcome in often cold Canada. There you have it, guys. These are some of the considerations that you might consider if you really want to move to Canada. Can you trade your position against all of this? Are you willing to go to all that hardship? Not everyone gets blessed enough to land on their preferred job at the start. But if you remain teachable and patient, 
top your shoulder for us. I know you'll do good here. As we start to grow our channel, I hope you guys can share this video if you find it useful. Also, if we miss anything, please feel free to comment. Or you can also suggest topic on our upcoming uploads. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you again in the next videos. Once again, see you all here in Canada.